Oh, a dark net file node. Okay. Uh, let's go back in here. Uh, let's just keep that for now. All right, an investigation into the death of a six-year-old leukemia patient who was receiving treatment from VersaLife. You're doing well. The data you've extracted so far has been great. In fact, I think you're ready to be a real ripper. Something's come up that could make a difference out there. I've inverted an encrypted darknet file into the Palisades network for you to investigate. The parent of a six-year-old girl reached out to us via the darknet. She died under mysterious circumstances. They want us to uncover the truth behind their daughter's death in a way that legal means can't. We call these cases darknet files. The details for the file and the reward for closing it can be found on the darknet tab. The girl's name was Lindsay. She was diagnosed with leukemia when she was five. Her parents were offered an experimental treatment from VersaLife for free of charge. They desperately agreed even though they knew the risks. Sadly, Lindsay died while under the care of VersaLife scientists. This is work, uh, worth looking into, Albert, even if it is just a way for the parents to have some closure. What do we know about VersaLife? They're a multinational pharmaceutical, medical and bioengineering corporation. They're thought to be linked to a few shady operations, but nothing we can prove. Not yet, anyway. With the help of our resources, you should have no trouble closing the .NET files. Experts in their respective fields. Watch Stand 68 is an ex-military, well, uh, well versed in covert tactics, infiltration fire, Teams, anything military related. Fairbanks is an analyst, especially someone who can unravel the red tape that corporations and governments like to hide behind. And then there's Shorthand, a brilliant doctor, one of the best in the world, really, but tends to have very little patience. Just don't expect their services to be freed. So what do I need to do? Post details on donate files and resources you can contact on my message board. Shorthand should be your main contact for this case as he is a medical specialist. As far as about the circumstance of Lindsay's death, if I were you, I would track, try and track down her autopsy report. Good luck with it, Miss Foyle. Okay. Alright, just what the doctor ordered. While progressing through the Palisade network, I came across a file. Alright, target corporate first cycle. Order. James and Dorothy Thompson. Lindsay Thompson, a six year old girl suffering from late stage leukemia. Thompsons were offered a free experimental treatment for their daughter's disease, disease by VersaLife. Desperate to save her young life, they accepted, despite knowing the risks. Several irregular clauses were included in the contract, such as the treatment would take place at one of VersaLife's closed medical facilities. Visitation clearance for the parents would not be provided. If the girl were to die during the treatment, VersaLife could not be held legally responsible. Also, VersaLife would gain possession of the body if she were to die to continue their tests. The treatments appeared to be successful during their weekly vote call. Lindsay told her parents she was feeling much better and wanted to come home. The very next day, the girl fell into a coma and passed away shortly after. Mr and Mrs Thompson suspect foul play, citing the fact that they were not able to examine the autopsy report due to the confidential nature of the research and treatment that Lindsay was receiving. I had Synapse, the firmware update I installed to your NSN kit, run a search, Lindsay's report should be a verse life server, DF1 Cortex in Network 1A. While corporate treachery and deceit are a possibility, this could just be a grieving couple seeking closure. Either way, this case is worth investigating. Buona fortuna. So, DF1 Cortex. Ah, oh, there you go. Unlocks it for you. So you don't even have to uh, faff around. So what's this one here then? Oh yeah, that's that. Okay. Well, let's try it then. Open when searching for darknet file evidence, you will need to gather loose data fragments scattered throughout the server. In these situations, you can ignore the data towers if you want. Alright. 
Their servers unnerved me. Hazards and long drops everywhere. Their vertical layouts remind me of DNA strands. Expect plenty of sentries and turrets too. Low cycle is a prominent biotech firm with focus on augment research. Best life servers rely on vertical layouts that can be confusing for avatars without jump or dash augmentations. Oh, there you go. The defense set focus on using sentry bots, drones, turrets, and hazards to automatically defend and protect sensitive areas. Looks pretty awesome. There's a block here though, and it's like, hmm. Mm. There's a block, it means something somewhere is going up. Falling into a pit is not the end of the world. You hold on to whatever data you have so far, and your avatar is reset back to the breach point. Is No. Careful. Whoops. Try to find ways to avoid touching them. Oh, how did I miss that? At least I managed to get that one. There, that's why. Alert. Server lava will compromise. New evidence, autopsy report, view file. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Cause of death, immune system failure. Typical doctor's notes, you can't read it. According to what we know, Lindsay Thompson died after slipping into a coma due to a sudden failure in her immu immune system. I should look over the autopsy report I covered. Chat with shorthand. Excuse me, shorthand. Who are you? This is a private account. Well, then she should have briefed you on the fact that my time is finite and not to be wasted. Why did you contact me? 
my lens here, six year old girl with leukemia died while receiving experimental treatment from Best Life. Unfortunately, that disease has a high enough mortality rate as it is. That number increases when uh, any kind of experimental treatment is involved. What else have you got? According to the girl's parents, she was getting better. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know much about medicine, but according to her autopsy report, she died while in a coma. Is that common with leukemia patients? If they were suffering from frequent seizures, yes. It is rare, but it can occur in extreme cases. If you send me the autopsy report, I might be able to help. Before we go any further, you are aware of my fee. No, nobody said anything about having to pay you. <laughs> Hope your services won't be too expensive. Some bit all things work with you. Any other resources that you've I have to pay you, I will. Church asked me to waive my fee for the first time, so just this once, my services are free of charge. Although the fact that you are a ripper gives me cause to wonder why I ever agreed to such a thing. If we ever work together again, do not expect another handout. Now, with that out of the way, I can tell you that this autopsy is incomplete. Miss Thompson's blood analysis is missing. You can value her blood work. Maybe someone. Uh, very astute. If Miss Thompson's blood work was omitted from the report, then perhaps First Life did so willingly. Without more information, however, we can uh, do nothing but guess at the motivations. If you can get me her medical records, they might provide us with some sort of explanation. Until then, there is nothing more I can help you with. Yeah, okie dokie. Mm. I'll do this, uh, the Darknet Far one. Time limit on this one. Some server apps will use modifiers against you. You can add your own to counter the effects or even to increase the challenge further. Mm. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, let's put in increase health capacity by 25%. Authorized data transfer detected. Lockdown sequence activated. It's difficult to see where the hell that actually lies. nearly missed that then. That could have been dangerous. I'm not going back up that way though. Unless this opens up. Oh, there we go. Right, what have we got around here? Admit, there's no like counter here to tell me how many I've got. Alert. Server lava will compromise. I figured it'd be easier just to do that. 
No. What the hell? <laughs> it's like I hit my head. Do you want to jump out of the way? I wanted to see if there was any, like, data things anywhere, but it doesn't look like there is. Oh well. Oh, there wasn't any data in there anyway. Okay. Or at least I don't think there was. Alright, Lindsay's medical files. Medical history for subject. Uh, subject responded well to treatment. White blood cell count reduced to normal, near normal levels. Biopsy shows regression of disease by 75%. Introduced 50 cc of thanazepam. Additional observation. Steady increase in patient vitality. Complaints of pain in decline. Subject repeated requests to contact parents denied barring administrative approval. Suffered fatal immune system failure while comatose, unable to resuscitate. Sure, and I found a girl's medical files. Already? Perhaps I misjudged you. Send me the file. As I said before, this consultation will cost you 10,000 credits. Maybe we could compromise. I donate my fee to several charitable organisations. Any reduction I give you means less funding for them. So I'm afraid there's no room for negotiation. Okay. According to Ms. Thompson's medical history, she was responding well to her treatments. It seems like they were using an unex unspecified experimental therapy on her. Whatever their life was up to, it caused her white blood cells to normalise. Remarkable. Her last biopsy shows a regression of the disease by 75%. I don't get it. She was basically cured. Why did she die? Well, if the information in Mr. medical records are to be trusted, it would appear that VersaLife may have discovered the cure for cancer, for at least one form of it anyway. So it's hard to say, really. Unfortunately, cancer is an avenue filled with countless unknowns. Without any indication of what VersaLife was treating the girl with, there was no telling what factors contributed to her death. Wait, there was something in the report that doesn't make sense. At the stage she was in her treatment, it would not have made sense for a new medication to be introduced. Thenazepam is something I would never, I have never encountered. Likely one of the first life's experimental concoctions. Could it be what caused the sleep into coma or even killed her? Both are definite possibilities. Until I know more about the medicine, there is no way to know for certain, and there is no information to report related to it. Eric Gallo Lint was the last to update her medical history. I've never heard of him. We are close to the rotten truth, I know it. You must find out who it was that authorised the change to Miss Thompson's meds and for what reason. There has to be a paper trail somewhere that can tell us. There we go. It's another... Damage on your avatar. It's best to avoid them. So, can I not actually interact with that while I'm while that's happening? Because that's a bit silly. I can't pick anything up. I'm going to fall to my death. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> what else we got? We've got one down here. What have we got then? we got one up. 
Shove it up here. One there, one there. Oh, one all the way down there. Be better off getting these first, I think. Maybe. Damn it! Breach point open. Seek and destroy entity. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But I'll take it. some good did. Shadow child, extracted data from first slice email server. I'm looking for something in Dr. Eric Gallo Lint's account. Relate to Lindsay Thompson, subject D044, but the data is encrypted. Send me what you have, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. This could take a few minutes. Tell me. How's shorthand treating you? Okay, I guess. No need to sugarcoat it. He can be a bit abrasive, but he knows his stuff. Almost got it. Just a few more seconds. How's the investigation going? The blur girl's blood analysis was missing from the autopsy report. The girl was dosed with new medication. Might have something to do with her coma. The girl wasn't just getting better, she was practically cured. What? Then how did she die? I guess you're asking yourself the same thing. It's questions like that. Uh, that drive us. It's done. Sent you the last email sent to Dr. Lint that mentioned subject D04. If I wasn't dealing with my own case, I'd try to help you out even more. But to be honest, you seem to be doing just fine. Oops. Right, Dr. Lint. Uh, let's read the bottom one first. Right. From Eric Gallo to ID blocked, update to subject. As previously reported, subject D044 has responded well to all nanotech treatments. Latest biopsy results show a massive reduction in her white blood cell count. More interesting, however, independent tests on the subject's blood have shown that we can only classify as immunity to uh, several viral infections. Supplementary tests show Ebola, H2N1, as well as tuberculosis cells were attacked and destroyed by the nanites. We are on the verge of a major breakthrough awaiting further instructions. Dr. Lint, based on your la latest report, the board has decided subject will be transferred to our Rokaseka Beach Complex. The staff there will study her and assess whether or not she is an appropriate candidate for additional programs. Begin intravenous doses, dosage of uh, thanazepam. Once comatose, update the medical history to indicate a sudden failure in the subject's autoimmune system. A falsified autopsy report and death certificate will be issued to reflect this. A first life representative will brief the parents. Uh, she's not actually dead. Watch then. I have a situation that I think you can help me with. Uh, I've heard of you. Welcome to the team. You're the Ripper investigating the Lindsay Thompson file. Shorthand has kept me up to speed on the case so far. I'll do what I can to help. What have you got for me? Falsified? Does this mean the girl is still alive? It might, or at least it means she was at the time first life transferred to another facility. Never trust people in lab coats. Conniving bastards. Have you heard of this Rokaseka beach complex before or my, where it might be? Is a rescue operation option at this point? It most certainly could be. If we knew where to look. All we have to go on is the name of the facility and that it might have something to do with nanotechnology research. Rokaseka does sound familiar though, but I can't quite place where I've heard it before. Give me a minute. Well, literally a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so 
The sooner we know where Lindsay is, the faster we can act. Agreed. I've got Fairbanks looking into it. All right, I knew there was a reason I heard of that complex before. Well, Kaseka Beach was all over the news recently, something to do with a standoff involving an augmented right activist group and the Californian Coast Guard. All this to say that the complex is located off the coast of San Francisco. Damn, it's heavily defended with high security. I can have a strike team there within the hour, but the chances of even getting into the place are slim. Unless we can knock out the facility's automated defences first. Tell you what, Ripper, find a way to disable the security, keep my team safe and we'll forget about my usual fee. If Lindsay is alive, then reuniting her with her parents is more important than gone damned credits. Now go. My men and I will be ready to act as soon as we see that the systems are down. That's pretty cool. We've got two, we've got five there. Where's the um Arsenal awesome one? Defense okay. unit five eight zero seven one two AW. Continue diagnostic script. Stop looking. for last known position. Just wondering if he was shooting at me then. Scan last known location. Where'd he go? He's all the way over there. Server threat elimination is priority zero. Where is he? I saw him, he was over there. Extrapolating entity behavior. Is he below me? Oh, he's over there. Re-engage for an entity. Destroy. Oh. Come on. Nearly out of ammo for this bloody thing. Visual contact is priority. That didn't work, did it? How am I supposed to beat this fucker? 
I don't think I've got any ammo left. Alert. Unauthorized gateway detected. How do you? Watch that. How's your operation going? Did you find Lindsay? Is she alive? We did, Ripper. She's alive and well. And out of her slight reach. Never seen a little girl so excited to see five people in full-on tactical gear before. It was great. Where is she now? Did your team run into any trouble? She's with her parents. We have them en route to a safe house. The less people know about the details, the safer she'll be. What about you? I don't expect your end was exactly a cakewalk. It was different, still getting used to these Palisade servers, but it's not like I was in any real danger. Actually, it was, it was in there pretty quick. If you got the girl out, then that was worth the trouble. That's a good attitude I have, soldier. I like that. <laughs> now, I better get going. I got to outfit Lindsay and her folks with some new identities. They'll disappear and start their new lives. It was good working with you. Back now to that confusing tale of life, or is it death, coming out of the United States. Sources tell me that a yet to be identified group of mercenaries broke into a cutting edge Versalife research facility, hoping to find and rescue this girl, Lindsay Thompson. The group claims Versalife has been using the six-year-old as a test subject for experimental nanotechnology research after faking her death a short while ago. Versalife emphatically denies the salacious claim, although they did admit to experiencing unexpected faults in their security measures. They believe a lone hacker may be responsible. I wish I could tell you which side of this story is true, folks, but when asked to produce the supposedly resurrected girl and her family, the mercenaries refused, saying only that she is in a safe location, quote, out of reach of the cruel hands of the medical industrial complex, unquote. Sadly, all of this drama has taken a toll on Versalife's stock price. At its lowest point today, shares were down a whopping 37%. Most analysts say the company will weather this controversy in the long run. So maybe now is the perfect time to invest in Versalife? This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you, live, from Picus. The detective. Data detective. There you go. Dark Knight file complete. New reward. Dark Knight pack. Let's do it now. Let's get the crappy ones first. Combat rifle. It's got a view then. Next. 
exterior channel detected. Damn it. Where's my um augments? Have I not got any? Oh. It did say no augments, didn't it? So I gotta get that's really annoying. <coughs> I was expecting to be able to double jump and I couldn't. Oh, I didn't see that there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How is that? Can I get up there? Hey! <coughs> Data Disciple. I have no idea what that is. I think that just means I've completed enough here to do that. I might have to check to see what that trophy is. Defense unit. Five eight zero seven one two A W. Continue diagnostic script. Movement detected. Minor. Distance Determine the dynamic units fail. Hey, I don't, I don't know what that trophy was. I don't think that's one of the normal ones. That must be a DLC one. Let me have a look. Ah, okay. The 40-yard digital dash succeed three data sphere deliveries. That's pretty cool.
Processing. So that's this level. All these sets of levels done. We can move on with some more now. <clears throat> and I leveled up as well. Not bad. Let's grab my reward. That's why I turn my microphone off because it's just horrible. Damn it. Ah, oh, no, you can't take him out with a simple. I was kind of hoping you could just like take him out with a. Down. Oh, where'd he go? Because I sent him flying. <laughs> there. Having a bad time there, mate. Is how we do that. Hey, that should be platinum. Oh, there it is. Oh, so good. Oh, I've been playing this breach now for about three and a half hours to finish this off. Oh, and there's so much more still to do if I want to get the rest of the trophies, which I will do at some point. But I think most of that, if not all of that, I will do offline for the rest of this breach. Because I'm literally just running through it. 
Let's get it done as quick as possible. Oh. Oh, that was so good. Right. One last thing I'm going to do. See if this will be <coughs> lucky enough to give me another one of those. One of those. Oh, I thought it was going to do it then. No. Okay. That's fine. I think there's a trophy where you need six enhancements in your uh, inventory and it will give you a trophy for doing that. And I think I've got no, where is it? Uh, in here. No, in here, in expansions. I've got um, five of these and you need six. And you have to have six in your inventory and a trophy pops for that. But that's a DLC one, so that's another time. But I got the platinum, guys. Whee! That is me pretty much done with this for now. I don't know when I'll get back to this game. It'll be quite some time. I've still got the story DLC stuff to do, but I'm, I'm in the middle of doing Final Fantasy IX now, and I'm getting well into that, so I'm going to carry on with that for the time being, um, and then eventually I will pick this up again, and I'll see you on the DLC, but otherwise than that, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see you whenever I get around to the next game. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.